Hey everybody, hope you're all doing well. Today's video is a little bit of a uh, viewer request video. I had a subscriber contact me and ask that I do a video on the neutral indicator switch that's inside and uh, how it affects the lights and the gear selector. Let me back up. What he actually asked me about was the gear selector wires uh, on the engines that have the extra wiring that uh, not only show you when the bike is in neutral, but it shows you when it's in first, second, third, and fourth. And I thought I would just go ahead and do a short video today of how all that kind of works. Um, now I made a video a few weeks ago on just the neutral indicator switch itself, this little piece right here. Uh, so I'm gonna splice in about a two, two and a half minute video on this. And then when I'm when that's over, we're going to come back and we will go through and how I try and go through and figure out what wires go for what gear. So uh, I'll see you guys in a couple minutes. Hey everyone, welcome back to Mini Bike Mike's CT70 Garage. We're in the process of changing this stator plate on this engine, on this life and engine. But I thought I'd do a side video and show you how the neutral indicator uh, light works and, and the switch works on the neutral indicator. So I'm gonna zoom you in on that. And what we're looking at is this little plug right here. try and bring you guys in a little closer. Oh, I need to back off the, the camera a little bit. All right, so do you see the little pin, the little spot up there? Uh, hang on just a second, I need to put my shift lever back on. All right, this works a little bit better. I put you on a stand and I've grabbed a pointer. So what I'm looking at is this little piece right here. And right now the bike is in neutral, transmission is in neutral. And as I shift it, you see how that moves? Okay, go back to neutral. So when the bike is in neutral, that little pin makes connection with that little spot right there. And it grounds out, it, it uh, makes a ground connection. So how this works, is your neutral indicator light up in your speedometer has two wires. It has a power wire that ho is hooked to, in this case, 12 volt power when the bike is running or when if it's battery powered when the key is on. So 12 volts is sent to the neutral indicator lamp. And then there is a second wire, this green with a red tracer that you can, if you see it here. Now that's a ground wire. So when the bike is in neutral and that little pin is in this position and it is making connection to that little metal piece right there, it, is, it, it hits ground. And so that makes a connection and makes a loop and lets the neutral indicator light come on. When you shift out of neutral, now that's moved and it is no longer making contact with this little spot. So now we have lost ground and the neutral indicator light goes out, if that makes sense. So that's how that works. That little pin just moves as you shift the, the gears, you come back to neutral, it comes around, it makes contact with that piece again and your neutral light is now on. Okay, so on this particular bike, it has the exact same setup with this little piece, this neutral indicator switch that's in there. Uh, but not only does it have one wire, it has five wires. And basically the only difference is instead of there being one little uh, brass piece that makes contact, there's gonna be four more of them and four more wires that come off of this thing um, and come out to this wiring harness. And as you shift and that little pin moves from one brass connector to the other, 
it will, if you have a digital speedometer, there are a speedometer that has the, shows you what gear you're in, it will then light up each, each of the gears from neutral one, first, second, third, and fourth gear. So that's what goes on behind here. Just the same little thing as this, only like I said, four, has uh, four more connectors and four more wires. Now, the subscriber that contacted me is having a hard time figuring out you know, what wires go, you know, which, which is wires go to first, which wire goes to second and so forth. So what I have done is, let me back up here a second. I've got my battery charger. So I've got a power supply here, 12 volt battery charger that I used. And I've got the ground just grounded to the bike. I just put it on the spring of the kickstand right there. And then I've got a little meter light, test light. that You can pick these up at uh, any auto parts store. And I've got it hooked to the positive on the battery charger. So now whenever the pointer touches ground, it should light up. We're completing the loop of power. So see right there, there it lit up. Hopefully you guys can see that. So now... The bike should be, is this up or down? Okay, this is an all down, so it's in neutral. And I'm pretty sure neutral is the green with the red stripe. So if I touch these, it should light up, it is. Okay, so see, the bike's in neutral. It turned on that light, okay? So the green with the red stripe is your neutral. Let's put it in first gear. Okay, let's see if we can find one that's on first gear. There it is, okay. So on this particular wiring harness, looks like a pink wire is first gear. Okay, and now we lost the neutral one. See, it moved away from that little brass connector, connection. So we go, we go again. Let's just see if it goes in order. It does. So now we've got a blue with like a pink stripe. That's second gear. We no longer have the first gear wire or the neutral wire. Is it this one? Yep, all right, so it just keeps moving down the line. That's a green with a black stripe. None of the other ones, just that one. Okay, and that should be fourth gear. That should be our last pin over there. And it is. So that's how I would go about testing and figuring out which wires. Now that I know which wires go to what gear selector, I know that you know that's neutral, first, second, third, and fourth gears. Now you would just do the exact opposite or similar, I guess. How do I explain that to the uh, up at the speedometer? You would need to send power to the speedometer and then ground each one of the wires and see which light comes on. When you ground a wire, if the neutral indicator light comes on, well, you know that that wire goes to the green and red of the neutral indicator down here. If you ground out a wire and it turns on the you know second gear light, then you would need to know that it connects with the the wire down here that was for second gear. So I don't know. Hopefully that helps. Uh, if you have any more questions, I, I can't remember who asked me, subscriber who asked me about that. But uh, if you happen to have any more questions, hit me up and we will try and make another video. Guys, have a great day and I'll see you later. Thanks.